og við ætlum að byrja á því að horfa á hérna, uh, myndband um borgarlínu sem heitir What is going on and what can we expect og það er Sven Pálsson verkefnistjóri fyrir borgarlínu og mann við ar upp á kófi. Gjörðu svo vel. Good morning. Thank you very much for inviting me to present the current work on the future of Borgalina and also to show you some examples from two other BRT projects. I will start with giving you an insight to the characteristics of our BRT system, our current ongoing work on Borgalina, our vision and what to expect. To give you some examples of other BRT projects, I will present one in operation and one under construction. One is the Helsingborg Expressen, which is operating, and the other is the BRT in Aalborg in Denmark that's under construction. A BRT is a bus rapid transit system. This is a bus-based public transport system of higher quality than regular bus systems in public transport. A BRT provides faster travel and a higher reliability. The stations, bus stops, will have a higher class than regular bus stops. The system will have its own identity for easy recognition in the city. A BRT has a higher capacity than regular bus systems. In comparison, a BRT can transport more travelers per hour per direction than a regular bus system. The illustration here shows capacity of the different means of public transport. A BRT is characterized by use of dedicated lanes. An important feature is that the BRT will offer smoother drive with minimum of sideways movements and no bumps on the route. Stations will be easy recognizable and with fair collection in stations or online, the buses will operate more smoothly. Another important feature is reliable and frequent operations. This makes the BRT an attractive alternative to other means of transport. The Borgalinan will be what is called a third generation BRT. Third generation BRT systems include multiple bus routes that can enter and leave the BRT corridor. Within the third generation BRT system, bus systems outside the dedicated BRT cor corridor can also be provided. To plan and design the Borgalinan, a number of companies are involved. The client organization is hosted by Vigagardin, and the project management team consists of staff from Vigagardin, Manvit, Arup, and Kovi. We have entered an agreement with a design or engineering advisor team, and this team consists, consists of companies, the companies Artelia, Mo, Gottlieb Paladin, Irki, and Nit. With these teams, Borgalinan combines important knowledge about Icelandic conditions with the international knowledge about large infrastructure projects and BRT systems. So what's the current status? The conceptual design was presented in January 2021. We are now planning the corridor and mapping topics for review, agreeing on solutions, location of stations, going through the modeling of the traffic and identifying adjacent projects. All factors that are important to enable a successful design and execution of the works. The first investigations on site is being planned. This includes geotechnical investigations for future bridges and structures. It also includes various relocations of, of the utilities. To guide our work and to give a common understanding of what we want to achieve with Borgalinan, we have formulated this vision. Borgalinan is the sustainable, reliable, rapid public transport that links the capital area and will be the first choice of mobility. The first BRT routes is shown on the map here. With these routes, we introduce easier access to and from downtown Reykjavik, 
to A350 and to Kobavur. The southbound route will pass through the university area, but it will also serve the Landspitalien, which is one of the major workplaces in Reykjavik. We experience a high interest in the Borgalinan, and on a regular basis we meet with our stakeholders. We know that there are more stakeholders with a high interest in Borgalinan than we have met with just now, and we will of course also get in touch with those. One example of the high interest in the future with Borgalinan is the University of Iceland and the University of Reykjavik. The illustration shows the ambitious concept for the upgrade of the area for the University of Iceland with Borgalinan fully integrated in the plan. We also see a high interest from investors in urban development along Borgalinan. Let me present Helsingborg Expressen. It's a short, short presentation of what the city of Helsingborg experienced when they introduced the first BRT line. The BRT became part of the initiative, a bus vision, to double the use of public transport in Helsingborg within 10 years. In 2014, the BRT line one was decided and, as an important and works as an important enabler for developing the regional nodes or areas. These are the areas called Maria, north of Helsingborg, and Ramlösa, south of the city. The plan also included upgrade of the Kölnern bus lines. The BRT Line 1 was inaugurated in 2019. Now, Helsingborg is actually planning for two new BRT lines, integration with railway stations, and planning for the BRT to serve a planned new regional hospital. An important feature in Helsingborg is that the planned urban air development is connected with the access to public transport. The illustration shows the important public transport nodes and hubs. Distances to public transport area defined as seen here. An example of BRT buses is the 18 meter long electric buses used in Helsingborg. These buses allow for boarding and exiting at all doors. The stations allows step-free access. Helsingborg has with this seen an effect of good effect of the introduction of a BRT system. The BRT is a motor or enabler for the urban development. There's an increased use of other bus lines and less traffic in the city center. Traffic on the carriageways is unchanged, and this indicates a change of means of transport to the city centre. Another benefit is that bus operation is actually running more efficient. Let's move to Plus Bus in Olbo. The Plus Bus in Olbo supports the city planning. The map shows where urban development is focused. Some areas will change to more dense urbanization with higher buildings. With the BRT, investors are more likely to invest because the BRT is seen as a high-class public transport system. The BRT in Olbo is some 11 and a half kilometers long and has 22 stations. In comparison, the Borgalinan has 25 stations planned along the BRT corridor. Plus Bus will operate with 20 buses, and the opening of the Plus Bus is planned for 2023. Here's one example of how the Plus Bus also triggers upgrade of adjacent squares and areas along the route. Well, the digital um, Illustration here, made by the architect, perhaps shows trees a bit more green than reality. But it shows the ambitions also to make the city area more attractive. Finally, this picture shows the future area at the Olbo train station. Olbo is served by both intercity trains and regional trains. Here you can change to the BRT system in Olbo. You can see 
how both the BRT station and pockets for regular buses are integrated and allows for easy access for all passengers. With this nice picture, I will end my presentation and wish you an interesting day. Thank you very much for listening.